Hi, my name's Elliot. I'm a police officer, part-time builder, and I'm a foster carer. Hi, my name's Sam. I'm a mother of 10 children at the moment. We have five of our own, two long-term children, three short-term children, and I'm a foster carer. We're pretty flexible, pretty easy going. We've got uh, the space to do it. We've built a nice big house and we've got a bus that holds 14 people. So it never seems to be an issue for us to get those uh, one or two extras. Yeah, we're pretty much prepared for them all the time, which is good because we generally get, um, living an hour out of town, we get a phone call saying they're sort of on their way already. So it's very short notice often. They weren't really given an opportunity to as we started when our first daughter was uh, a baby. So they've grown up around it, they've always been there. We've had over 50 kids come through our house, so it's just a regular occurrence. They enjoy it. They, when we get the phone call, they're pretty excited to see who's coming. <laughs> Someone new to play with. Yeah. Not gonna lie, it's hard. They do often quickly become a part of the family and so it is difficult. But it's definitely worth it. In the end, it's totally worth it. And I, I, that would never be a reason to not do what we do. Uh, it's good to see because we've had kids go back to family, get restored home, we've had them go off to other carers for long-term placement and we've had them go back to kinship care where they've been looked after by their grandparents. Our role as crisis carers um, does dictate that the kids are more than likely going to be leaving our care so with that knowledge you can kind of prepare yourself anyway for when they have to go. I'd probably be worried if you didn't get attached to the children. It's something that's human nature. But it's lovely and for us it's having that attachment with them and them having somebody to become attached to as well is really special.